General B. You never start following me on my Instagram until last week Sunday. So what kind of person is boy uh, bo your business partner? Mayu, you are a wicked boy. I can tell everybody that. Mayu, remember say, you never said me to try to trick me. You want to control YouTube, Instagram, the bar. You want to control the blood money. You want to control everything. And I'm my blood bill. Mayu, don't deal with me after today. And you can't care who must go for it. Let's make it a percentage. So I can't America. Don't deal with me. Wagwan people, welcome back to another Yardi TV news headlines. So people, a gun attack in downtown Montego Bay, St. James on Tuesday night has left one man dead and three others nursing gunshot wounds. The police have identified the deceased as 28-year-old Romario Smalley, a vendor of Kingston address. According to the police, Smalley and two of his colleagues were sitting at their stalls in the vicinity of Sam Sharp Square at approximately 10.45 p.m. when they were pounced upon by armed assailants who opened fire at them. A woman was also shot during the attack as she attempted to run from the scene. They were all taken to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where Smalling was pronounced dead and the others admitted in serious condition. The Barrett Street Police are now investigating. So the next thing we are going out of the street now, peeps. A 37-year-old man was chased and shot dead on Studio One Boulevard. A man who was chased and shot dead Tuesday on Studio One Boulevard in St. Andrew has been identified as 37-year-old Marvin Shirley, unemployed of Studio One Boulevard address. Reports are that Shirley was driving a motor car along Studio One Boulevard when the vehicle was blocked by another car. Shirley exited the vehicle and ran but was chased and shot by his attackers who had alighted from the other car. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. So the next thing we are going out of the street now peeps. This incident took place in Kingston, Jamaica where a domestic helper was slapped with six months imprisonment after pleading guilty to stealing US $350 from her boss deceased father's wallet a day after he died. The woman, Dawn Hines, was also ordered to repay the sum stolen plus an additional US $50 to the complainant by senior parish judge at the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. According to court documents, the complainant, Lorian Burrows, explained that her father was ill for three months and she and her siblings hired Hines as a caregiver on February 14. However, when her father died on Sunday, March 20, Burroughs agreed to keep Hines in her employment to assist with household chores. It was also revealed that on the day her father passed away, Burroughs went to her father's possession and confirmed that US $350 along with local currency was in his wallet which was in his room on a chest of jaw behind a television. The day after he died, according to Burroughs, she and her brother left Heinz in the house around 10 a.m. and did not return until about 4 p.m. The following day, it was noted by Barra's brother that the money was missing and upon checking the home security camera in her father's room, she saw Heinz leave the room with the wallet before returning it a few minutes later. The theft was reported to the police and Heinz was later arrested. 